Good morning. Something is going on with my phone. But it's a good day already. It's a good day already. Y'all come on in. Deontay. My phone was acting up. I don't know what was going on. Lord, and I was one minute late. I'm like, whoo. That, that causes anxiety. Y'all come on in, baby. Davida. Good morning. Y'all, it's Thursday. One day until my favorite day of the week. Y'all come on in. Hey, Cookie. Thank you for your, your, um, your giver 23 blessing. Thank you so much. I appreciate your financial, financial blessings and, and contributions and donations and love gifts and all that. I appreciate that. I don't ever take that lightly. Good morning, Rita. Gail. Good morning to you. Francis. Hey, baby. We're all in our places. Exactly, Davida. <laughs> With sunshiny faces. And this is the way we start our new day. Good morning, Rita. Sharonda. Thank you for that. Um good morning greeting yes thank you god has graced us again with another beautiful day now what are you gonna do with it <laughs> it's in your hands baby he done he done allowed you to wake up he done opened your eyes in your right mind mm -hmm. With a reasonable portion of your health and strength. What are you going to do with it? Charlene, what are you going to do with it? Are we going to sit around and complain about what we don't have? Or are we going to take advantage of the goodness of God? Are we going to live in expectation of great things from the Lord? Come on, somebody. Hey, Chris. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our place. <laughs> With sunshiny faces. This is the way we start our new day. Sharon Murphy, good morning. Lord, I'm glad it's Thursday. That means it's one day away from Friday. <laughs> yes, sir. I got the joy of the Lord. Yes, Chris. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places. <laughs> With sunshiny faces. And this is the way we start our new day. Stephen Bradford. Good morning. Oh, Lord, we give you praise and, oh, oh, Lord, we bless your name and we lift our voices to say thank you for your goodness. Yes! And your mercy towards us, we offer praise. 
I woke up with that thing in my heart this morning. Oh, Lord, we give you praise. And, oh, Lord, we bless your name. And, we lift our voices to say thank you. For your goodness and your mercy towards us, we offer praise. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tracy Davis, you are worthy of glory and honor. We bless your name. For your goodness and your mercy towards us. For your goodness and your mercy towards us. Yes, sir. For your goodness and your mercy towards us. We offer praise. Yes, sir. Give the Lord glory. God is worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. I don't care what you are facing this morning. God is worthy of your praise. Come on. Whatever it is, put it aside, baby, and lift your hands and give God praise. God is worthy in every season, in every situation. Thank you to in the good times and the bad times, in the happy times and the sad times. God is still worthy. Thank you, Jesus. God is still worthy of your praise. David said, I will lift up mine eyes, lean read unto the hills from which cometh my help for my help. Cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Thank you. Bless the Lord. Come on, somebody. <laughs> yes, sir. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. It changes my mood. Come on, somebody. If you need to change your mood, just think of how good God has been to you. Some of us should have been dead. Come on, somebody. Good morning, Tamika. Yes, sir. Some of us should have been dead, sleeping in our grave. But God blessed us. Come on, somebody. Thank you. And God is worthy. 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 Thank you, G. God is worthy of our praise. Come on, somebody. Good morning. Good. Hell of mine, what? Baby. Even the stuff that we brought on ourselves. Thank you, Jesus. God did not let it take us out. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. A lot of stuff we brought on ourselves. Thank you, God. But even in the midst of that, <laughs> God is still worthy. Come on, somebody. You know a lot of stuff that you're dealing with is, is because of choices that you made. But even in the midst of that, God is still. <laughs> God is still blessing us right now, Sharon. Come on, somebody. I'm not going to be super spiritual. I, we have not been good. Or we have not lived the life that we're supposed to live. But God. I think I saw Helen Minor. But, but God. Them two. But God. Whatever. But God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo, don't get me started. Florence, Cheryl, do not get me started, baby. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I got five minutes. 
let me deal with this right quick. So, uh, let me see. What's today? Thursday. So, I think Monday we dealt with um, Jehovah Jireh. He's my provider. Tuesday, I got caught up. So, we didn't get to deal with Jehovah Rapha. But then yesterday, we dealt with Jehovah Rapha, who is uh, the God who heals. Today, I want to deal with Jehovah Shalom. Come on, somebody. Jehovah Shalom. So, um, we talked about Jehovah means to exist, uh, to be, or to be known. And then Shalom means um, harmony, soundness, um, absence of strife. So, you know, Shalom means peace. So, let me let me tell you where, where, where uh, Jehovah Shalom is came from so judges chapter 6 the bible says that the children of israel had done evil in the sight of the lord and he delivered them over into the hand of the midianites for seven years and when i tell you y'all gotta read y'all gotta read the, the the sixth chapter of judges when i tell you that them midianites whooped the israelites but Baby, when I tell you, they let them have it. They destroyed the, the, the people, the livestock. They destroyed their land. They destroyed, they, they let the Israelites have it for seven years. So then the scripture uh, um, goes on to say that um, God gave a man named Gideon instructions on how to defeat the Midianites. Okay. And the Bible says that, that Gideon was afraid because the Midianites were great in number. It was a lot of them. And, and Gideon was afraid. And God said to Gideon, he said, peace be with you. Do not be afraid. You will not die. I mean, there was death going on and, and Gideon was afraid. But God said, peace be with you. Do not fear. Do not be afraid for you will not die. And so the Bible says that Gideon built an altar in Oprah and called it the Lord of Peace, which is Jehovah Shalom. <laughs> Somebody needs to embrace God as Jehovah Shalom this morning. You are wrestling with stuff. You're, 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 you're fighting with people and you, you feel like you're being destroyed and, 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 and in your mind, you, you know, you're being demolished. But I, and, and you know what? One of the worst fights, one of the worst fights ever is we're fighting with ourselves. Come on, somebody who is who just needs God to settle your spirit within yourself. It, the fight is not even uh, uh, um, regarding the Midianites or with with with, with um, the, the 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 church or your ch or whoever. But most of us are fighting with ourselves. Come on, somebody. But I want to help you this morning to embrace, to know God as Jehovah Shalom. He is a God of peace. Jesus said in John chapter 16, verse 20. No, John chapter 14, verse 27. He said, my peace, I leave with you. Peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. I don't care what it is. You need to accept the peace of God. Embrace God's peace. He is Jehovah Shalom. Yes, sir. Gail Thompson. He will give you the peace that passes all understanding. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God that surpasseth all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. He is the Prince of Peace. Come on, somebody. He died that you would have peace. So I encourage you today to come to know the Lord as Jehovah Shalom your peace. I got to get out of here. It's eight o'clock, but that thing helped me because, you know, we can battle with stuff and, and definitely when we want to control stuff, you know, a lot of us are control freaks, but I encourage you today. Let God give you peace. Ask God to help you understand, baby, that you can't control everything except God as Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. I love y'all so much. The shy boo. I gotta call you. Listen, I love you.
love y'all so much. Let God be your peace today. Let God be your peace. I'm definitely going to let him be mine. Love ya. <laughs>